In this video, I'm going to show you how to create Facebook ads for website traffic. If you're new to Facebook advertising, or maybe you have a bit of expertise already, but wanting to learn more, make sure to subscribe to this channel. We're dropping new content and videos every week to help you take your online marketing and Facebook advertising to the next level. So let's get into it. So Facebook has many different types of ad campaign objectives to choose from, and one of these is the traffic campaign. Now the traffic campaign is purely designed to send website traffic and link clicks to our URL that you choose. Now maybe you have an e-commerce store, maybe a blog, or maybe you even have a YouTube video that you want to get more views on, but this would be the um, ad campaign objective that you choose when your number one goal is to send website traffic from a Facebook ad to another website. Now, in a second, I'm gonna jump into my ads manager and show you how to set up this campaign. But first, I really wanna make sure that you stick through to the end of this video because I have some very important optimization tips for this campaign and specifically for this campaign, which will really help it work much better for you. So make sure you stick through to the end. Now. Without further ado, let's jump into my Ads Manager. Okay, so we're here in my Ads Manager, and I'm now going to walk you through how to create and set up your Facebook traffic campaign. So first of all, we're going to select traffic as the campaign objective. We'll scroll down a bit. Now here we can uh, set the name for the campaign. Now, by the way, this is the... Uh, campaign level of the ad then there's the ad set which we'll do next and then the third part is doing the ad creative so there's sort of three sections now we'll just name this test um, here we can um, set up the budget now some of you with new accounts uh, you may only be able to use campaign budget optimization at the moment. If you have an older account, you'll probably have the option to be able to turn this off and on. I've got another video that goes into depth about campaign budget optimization. On a quick note, basically, uh, Facebook wants you to set the budget on the campaign level rather than the ad set level, which is the next page and this is becoming mandatory this year. So you're gonna to have to uh, soon set your budgets on the campaign level anyway. So I'd advise you to just start doing it now. So we'll leave this turned on. Um, set it to whatever you want. Um, you know, if you're testing or quite new to Facebook ads, it's probably best you set a low budget. So maybe do $5 a day. You can also and make it a lifetime budget. So say maybe you're gonna run the ad for five days, you could just set it to say $50 for the five days, but we'll just keep it on a daily budget and spending $5 a day. And then we'll hit continue and this will take us to the ad set level. All right, so now we're on the ad set. As it says here, you can name the ad set as well. So we could just call it ad set one. And we wanna optimize for website traffic. Now you can also do app messenger and WhatsApp traffic as well, but we'll do a website and probably most of you will wanna send link clicks to a website as well. Now we won't worry about any of this for now, but here is where we're gonna set up the targeting. So pick here the country uh, that you want to target. We'll just keep it at Australia, um, but you just click edit and you can type in the country of your choice here, for example, we can target the United States as well. So this is targeting Australia and the United States. Then we, you can set here the age targeting as well. So at the moment it's set to 18 to 65, so very broad. Then you can set the genders. So you could select both male and female, men or just women. Um, Again, if this is just testing, if it's the first ad you're running, I'd probably keep it as broad as possible. And that way, once the ad is finished running, you can look at the breakdown um, and statistics of the age groups, genders, 
um, and countries that viewed your ad and really tailor it down from there and create a much more optimized second ad. Again, I've got a video um, about this already and I'll put that into the description so you can check it out. Um, then you want to set up your interest-based targeting. Now, this is where you can target um, interest behaviors, you can target uh, job titles. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can target. And if you're not sure about what to target or don't have any ideas, you can click browse and have a look through here. The things to target, interest groups, lots of uh, genres here to choose from. Um, but if you're at the point of creating your ad, you probably should know what uh, target demographic you're going after. So let's say maybe it's people that like cats. So we'll just chuck in cats for now. Um, and you can also uh, niche this down. So you can click narrow audience and then you could just say do engaged shoppers. Say if you have an e-commerce store. So what this will do is it'll target people who like cats, which is a huge audience as you see. Um, but then people also must match this engage uh, shoppers purchase behavior. And what this is, as you can see, it says people who have clicked the call to action button shop now in the past week. So people who have clicked the shop now button, it'll um, narrow, narrow down the target audience for those people. Now you can narrow it even further again and keep going as much as you want. A audience of 20 million is definitely too large so you want to narrow that down to maybe a million or maybe a bit less um, depending on what you're doing um, but that's essentially um, how to do the targeting there now we'll come down to placements oh and quickly just on more options you can click here so you can also target based on language um, and connections as well. So just for example, language, you could type in English only if you wanted to just target people who speak English. We'll go down to placements. Um, I would recommend you don't do automatic placements and you click edit placements. So this means you can choose where your ads are gonna be seen. So if you wanted to just run it on Facebook and exclude Instagram Messenger and Audience Network, you can do that very easily just by unchecking those boxes. Um, but again, for your first ad and for testing, I would at least click and keep Instagram in there. And that way, once the ad is finished, you can come back and look at the results and see what proportion of your audience viewed it on Instagram and what proportion viewed it on Facebook. Now, if most people and most of your results came from Facebook. You can run your second ad and exclude Instagram and get much more out of your budget that way. So it's a, it's a definitely uh, better to do um, edit placements. And again, when you click on edit placements, it's gonna give you this drop down list of all the different areas that your um, ad's gonna show on and you can tailor that down even further um, if you choose. All right, so we'll scroll down a bit further. Now that we've done the placements, you can click more options here as well. Um, now you can, if you're, again for testing, keep it pretty broad, broad, but you can click edit. And if you wanted, you could choose the type of mobile devices um, that it's on. And you can also, if I can find it, maybe I've missed it, um, here, devices. So here, just click edit. Currently it'll be by default set to all devices, but you can, you know, by a very high percentage chance, most of your viewers aren't gonna come from desktop. Most of them are gonna come from mobile. So, I mean, it's good to test both anyway. Um, but you could uncheck desktop if you want and just run your ads on mobile or keep them both open again. And like I said, you can check these stats later and see which performed better. Okay, so we'll go down 
Uh, we want to always optimize for link clicks, but that'll come up by default anyway when you're choosing um, this campaign objective, the traffic one. Now schedule, you can schedule your ad ads as well. Um, so you can just keep it how it is, or if you want, you could maybe just run it for a week, a few days, uh, whatever. This is the start date and you can configure your end date here as well. All right, so we'll then hit continue and we'll now, now go to the um, actual ad level where you will make your creative, or you won't make it, but you'll add your creative. Now, um, we're set up here for a single image or video. You can add the media here. So this is where you can add either your photo or video that you'll be running. So just pick which one and then you can either upload it or if it's an image you've used before, it should already be there. Now we'll scroll down a bit further. This is gonna be your primary text. Um, so it's what's uh, going to show well, it's basically what it says. It's your primary text for the ad. You can add an optional headline as well, um, which will be right next to the link click button. And then you can also add a description, which is optional too. But the primary text is basically what's going to be, you'll see it when you're setting up the ad, it'll come up here as an example, but it's the main content that's going to show in your ad. Now, by default, Facebook will only show the first three lines and then it will have a click more button. So you want to get your key point across um, and get that hook for your customers in these first three lines because that's going to be the first part of your ad that they see and read. All right, so you can set those up. Now, we're already set up for website and so make sure that's clicked. Now this is where you'll put in the URL that you want to send the traffic to. So as I said previously, it might be a blog, e-commerce store, YouTube video, whatever it is, copy and paste that URL right here. And here you can choose the button that's gonna come up on your ad. So uh, it'll come up with learn more by default, but um, you can also choose other things as well. Contact us, apply now. Um, you know, whatever button text you want to choose, you can have. Now, if you've got your Facebook pixel set up, and again, I've got a video about this as well, I'll put it in the description, um, but you can turn that on here. Um, if you've used your Facebook pixel before, it'll be turned on automatically anyway, but this is just where you turn it on. And then we'll come down and hit confirm. Hopefully you'll have no errors like this. This is just because I haven't filled out all the information, but once you click confirm, your ad will then go into review and it may be in review normally for a, you know, a couple of hours is normal. And then hopefully it'll be approved and then your ad will start running. Um, so yeah, I hope this has really helped you. Um, now I'm going to show you those very important tips that I talked about earlier when setting up your campaign that is gonna give it a much better optimization right from the start. So we're just gonna hit back and we're just gonna go back to the ad set level. Now, this is very important, so make sure to do this. Number one, when you're selecting the countries that you're gonna be targeting, see this box here? Just open that up. Now, in some rare circumstances, for some reason, you might choose these other options, but most likely you're not going to be wanting to keep this people living in or recently in the location. You want to check this box here, people living in this location. Now, what that means is it's only going to target people in Australia and the United States who actually live in the country. It's not going to target tourists or people who have just moved there one week ago. So, I mean, particularly for e-commerce stores, you want to be, if you're selling a product to that country and you're shipping to that country, you want to actually target people that live there. Okay. So that's very important to do. Secondly, under, where are we here? Underneath the interest groups that you target, make sure, now again, there's some different rules, schools of thought 
on this, um, but personally, I prefer to have this box unchecked. So what this will do, you look how big the audience is now, once it's checked, it's 43 million. Now if I uncheck it, it's just changed it to 19 million, so more than half. Now this is because by checking this, Facebook will expand your audience to people who they think will also fit these interests based categories. However, I personally think it's much better just to choose your own interests and target those only and not expand to other people that may fit the interest group, okay? So, I mean, test it out for yourself and see how it goes, but that's just the second important tip I want to know, I uh, want you to know about, all right? Okay, well that's it for today in this video. I hope you've got a lot of value out of this and I really hope your traffic ads run well. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video.